Hey guys, it's Shale Okimi and welcome back to my channel. So I'm really, really excited for this video today because I'll be showing you guys how I did this install, this super, super natural looking install. I'm super excited for this video. Like you cannot tell me that this isn't my real hair. Like it came out so, so good. I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it. Started off by washing my hair. I always wash my hair in twists. Then I rinse out the shampoo and then I put conditioner, detangled with the conditioner. And while I was in the shower, after I applied my conditioner, I went ahead and flat twisted my hair. So these are the flat twists that I'm going to wear under my U part. So this is the U part that I'm using is from Better Lane. They're like a company that makes naturally textured extensions. So when I saw that they had this U part, I was like, let me try that. I like being able to fool people. So I felt like this would be perfect. Right now I'm just placing the U part to make sure that the way I parted my hair in the shower was good. Like I said, I did twist up my hair up all in the shower, but it's best to section and test out how much leave out you need first and then twist or braid up the rest of your hair. I just went ahead and twisted my hair in the shower because I, I know about how much leave out I usually need and it was just faster to quickly do that in the shower. And I also decided to leave out this small section here in the front so that in the end, I'll be able to like style my hair with it swooped up there. And then now I'm just finishing up, twisting up the rest of my hair. These flat twists, they're pretty big and loose, but I know that they'll last me like a good month just knowing my hair. My natural hair absolutely loves the low manipulation of big flat twists. You can make yours smaller if these were just easy for me to throw in and do the job <laughs> and they don't need to be that flat since the hair that i'm using is pretty big this is what the hair looks like straight out of the box but i'm not gonna leave it like this i mean you can if you want to but i'm gonna go in and work some magic style this hair a little bit more so i'm gonna start by washing it just use regular old shampoo and then i went in with conditioner and as i was applying the conditioner i'm applying the conditioner right here i'm also just detangling the hair with my fingers and as i was detangling the hair i was getting some shed hair which i'm showing you right now as I was detangling like throughout the time of me actually wearing the hair I never really detangled my hair because there's no need to so I didn't experience shedding but on this day that I was actually detangling the hair I got quite a bit of shedding as you can see right here that's how much shedding I was getting from the detangling process so yeah quite a bit of shedding but I proceeded I rinsed out the conditioner and now I'm going to start applying gel I'm using flaxseed gel I'll link some recommendations of pre-made flaxseed gel or you could just use any light hold gel or any gel that you use like you can use the gel that you use on your regular natural hair any gel that you want i decided to use something light because i want this hair to still have a flow to it so using a lighter hold gel will make it not be too hard but still flowy so i put a little bit of gel on my hair and then i put it on my head just so i could actually see what it's looking like on my head and then i went in and made sure i got under there to get all of the sections with the gel it's also really important that your hair remains dripping wet so this shouldn't take you that long to apply the gel but if it's starting to take you more than like five minutes you can like re-wet your hair to make sure that your hair is dripping wet throughout this whole process And I don't know if you could tell, like in my fingers, some shed hair was also coming out. So I was experiencing some additional shedding as I was doing this. This is how it looks like you can kind of compare both sides where I applied more of the gel. Applying the gel to, applying any gel to dripping wet hair. And then I'm going to show you as well how I dry it will make this hair set in the style that I'm going for today. So once I'm done applying all of the gel, this is what the hair is looking like. So I'm just taking it off and then I just placed it on a head so that I could blow dry it. But so now I'm going through and I'm blow drying in a downward motion. This is a pretty important step if you're going for the same type of look that I was going for, but I wanted to blow dry it downward so that it could set in a very specific way where, cause if you just let it air dry, it will shrink back up a little bit more. This hair will still shrink up some, but you will allow to set more exactly as how it looked when you first applied the gel if you blow dry it in a downward motion with a blow dryer. So after I did that and I did that for a long time until it was fully, fully dry. And then I put the hair on my head to see how it was looking. And now what I'm currently doing is cutting off the clips that came with the U part. The U part originally comes with two clips there along the top and then also a comb at the back to attach it. I unsewed all of these because I do not want to wear it as an actual U part wig that I'm gonna take off and put back on with the clips. I am going to be sewing this down. So I just bobby pinned it in place and then use my needle and thread that I got from the beauty supply store. Put the thread through the needle and then 
tied a knot at the end and cut it off. And then to sew the hair on, you couldn't really tell what I was doing because it's hard to see when I was trying to film it. But essentially I just grabbed the needle, went through the braider twist and then the edge of the wig, opened up the thread to loop it. And I just went through the perimeter of my hair, going through the twist and then through the edge of the wig. And whenever, every time I would thread it, I would loop it once or twice. And I would go throughout my hair just like that. And at the very end, when I ran out of the thread, I'd loop it like three times to secure it, cut off the extra, and then just tie this in a knot, and then cut off the rest of the thread. And that's all I did to secure it onto my head. I did it just around the perimeter and it held itself up. I didn't sew along the top. And the reason why I'm sewing this on is because I like being able to wake up and just already have my hair attached to my head. You could definitely just wear it as a regular U part with the clips and take it off and take it on. So yeah, once I was done sewing it onto my head, it was then time to prepare the leave out. So I'm not gonna lie. After I had like defined this hair with the gel, washed it, I was like, hmm. Will this actually match my natural texture? <laughs> Cause as you can tell right now, they're different. I was like, this might have to be a finesse, but as soon as I put gel in my hair, as you can see, exact match. You cannot tell me that is not my hair. Like literally exact match. I was actually very surprised. You could not tell where my hair is in that. Very impressed to say the least. But yeah, I decided to also stretch my hair with a blow dryer to get it to match closer to the length of this U part. But now that I know that I don't have to worry about my leave out matching, we can get back into working with this hair. So as you can tell, I'm already doing is cutting this hair. So we're gonna give this hair some shape, some life. The cutting hair into shape is one of my favorite things to do. I don't know why. <laughs> I love being able to transform something into a shape that really flatters my face. So for this, I'm not cutting off too much of the hair. I want to keep its length, but I want to give it more of like a blunt bob lob type of feel just right above my shoulders and this hair will shrink slightly as you wear it throughout the day so don't overcut the hair is dry right now but as the days pass it will still shrink up naturally but yeah i cut it to where it's just exactly right above my shoulders but so once i was done cutting it now we can get back into the leave outs so i'm wetting my hair first and then i'm applying the gel right now i'm not applying flaxseed gel in my hair flaxseed gel the hold isn't very strong to work as well as i'll need it to for my natural hair so, so i went ahead and use like a strong hold gel on my natural hair and I applied it into uh, my hair. And as you can see, it matches so perfectly. But what I'm doing right now, as you notice with the earlier pieces, instead of going through with the blow dryer to stretch my hair, I'm just applying the gel and then bobby pinning my hair in a stretch position. So I'm going to leave my hair like that overnight so that it will just set stretched instead of me using heat to stretch my hair and i always find that setting my hair like leaving it wet and setting it in a certain way always lasts way longer than trying to set my hair a certain way with heat and it's also a pro a bonus that i can use less heat but yeah so i'm going through all of my hair wetting it first making sure that my hair is soaking wet and then applying the gel stretching it into place and bobby pinning it. And once I was done with that side, I moved on and started doing the same thing to the other side, applying the gel, letting my hair dry and set in a stretched position. And then I was ready to go to sleep. So I grabbed my satin scarf and I wrapped it around my head just like that. And now this is the next morning. This is how my hair looked. And I'm just taking out all the bobby pins that I applied the night before. As you can tell, it's already looking really, really good. I was really happy with the way my natural hair blended in. I'm just fixing my leave out, separating it, putting it into place, making sure it's covered there in the back. Like even if you come up close, you cannot tell me that that is it, my hair. <laughs> but this was the next day. Every night to wear this hair to sleep, I just wrapped it in that same satin scarf and to shower, I just put my shower cap on. And in the mornings, I would literally just shake my hair out, do a little fluffing and bam, again, looks so, so amazing. I've kept this in for three and a half weeks. And I wanna show you guys what it looked like throughout the duration of the time of me wearing it and what I did to actually like maintain it while I was wearing it. So to maintain this hair, literally every morning, I 
would just shake it out like i said and that was what i did most of the time so it was i wouldn't call this hair low maintenance i mean it's lower maintenance than maybe your natural hair but it's probably higher maintenance than like straight hair like a straight hair wig would have been after over a few days it would start to like fluff up like as you can see here this is a prime example of how it would look after a few days on some days so when it started to look like that essentially just starting to revert back to its natural texture how it looks straight out of the box so when it started to do that i would go back in with some gel and try and get it back to how it looked when i first um styled it and voila perfect natural super super natural looking i'm kind of thinking that if i had used a stronger hold gel i probably wouldn't have had to retouch it with gel like the gel wouldn't have worn off as quickly so so if you do decide to just use like a strong hold gel, like an eco styler or something, anything on the u I'm sure it would look good as well. If you're taking it off every day and not going to sleep in it, then it'll probably be less touching up that you have to do as well. This was literally the day before I took it out, like the fourth week of me wearing it, three and a half weeks into it. And as you can tell, still looked amazing. In terms of like tangling, it never really tangles or ever matted up. So I never had to run my fingers through it. I only ran my fingers through it whenever I was reapplying gel. So because I was never really running my fingers through it, I never really saw that much shedding like the type of shedding that I was showing you guys in the beginning. So it was pretty good in terms of shedding and tangling in that sense. This is one of the hair. I don't know if any of you guys remember. There was one hair, the kinky straight hair that I did like in 2016. And this hair, I would have to say have been my most complimented hair styles that I've ever worn in my life. Like literally strangers would come up to me in public <laughs> and compliment me on my hair. Mostly a lot of them were black women simply because they thought it was my real hair. Like it is literally undetectable. People strongly believe that this was my real hair. Some of them I just said thank you. Some of them I told them it wasn't my real hair, but definitely the type of hair that you can fool people with. Definitely one of my favorite hairstyles that I've done in a while. So definitely let me know if you try this and if you're able to fool some people as well. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.